the 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. We have seen a ton of rain in areas to our south. Of course, all this due to Hurricane Adalia. Just in the last 24 hours or so, portions of the panhandle of Florida have seen in excess of six and a half inches of rain. You go further north into areas in between Savannah and Augusta in Georgia, Near Statesboro, seven and a half inches of rain. You go into South Carolina, areas just to the west of Myrtle Beach, six and a half inches of rain. So this has been a storm system that has impacted areas from the Big Bend of Florida through Georgia and now into the Carolinas. Luckily for us here over the past 24 hours, we really haven't seen a whole lot of rain at all. We have uh, maybe picked up on a couple of little showers here or there across South Side. And as we turn on the radar here locally, you'll notice that we are not seeing a whole lot of showers right now. We do have a lot of ground clutter. This is just fine particulates being picked up by the radar as it's scanning the sky, such as bugs. Rest assured, this is not rain that you're seeing around the radar site, but we've had a couple of little sprinkles and or very light showers out across portions of Halifax, uh, Pennsylvania and Charlotte counties here over the last six to eight hours. They haven't amounted to much. All the real heavy rain has stayed away from southwest central in south side Virginia. Attention sky watchers, this is for you. We've got a super blue moon happening tonight. It's going to appear larger than most full moons, and it is called a blue moon because it is the second full moon in the same month. Okay, so this is a uh, phenomenon that likely will not happen for another 14 years. So attention sky watchers, this is for you. Hopefully the clouds will scour out enough where you can see the August 30th blue moon slash Super moon. Again, it's quite a sight to see. Very uh, bright and very large moon out in the sky for us tonight. Tracking a dally alongside you. The rain is going to be pushing offshore off of North Carolina and Virginia Beach, I would say within about the next 8 to 12 hours. OK, cannot rule out a stray shower early tomorrow in South Side, but you need to know the clouds are going to go away from west to east throughout the morning hours tomorrow. We are going to see our fair share of sunshine tomorrow afternoon, and once we see it, it's going to stay around through the holiday Labor Day weekend. So once we start to see blue skies and sunshine tomorrow, Enjoy it. It's going to be around for a long time. Temperatures start out tomorrow, 50s and 60s. Very pleasant start to the day. May even have a little bit of fog around. Temperatures tomorrow topping out around 79. Temperatures tomorrow below average. Notice in the morning, some leftover clouds, especially east, but I would say no later than late morning. Most of us are going to be mainly sunny, and tomorrow is indeed a dry day. I want to talk to you about the Tech game. Kickoff Saturday, 8 p.m. versus Old Dominion at Lane Stadium. Kickoff temperatures likely in the low to mid 70s. We're going to fall into the middle 60s by close to midnight. Overall, a great night for football at Lane Stadium comes Saturday. 58 right now in Hot Springs, 64 Withville, 10 degrees warmer, Roanoke and Lynchburg at 74 at 76 in Danville. Notice these overnight lows come Thursday morning, tomorrow morning, overnight lows, 50s and 60s. But look at Friday morning, friends. Overnight lows are in the 40s and 50s. A nice taste of fall headed our way for tomorrow. More sunshine moving in as the day progresses. It's going to be a little bit breezy out there, especially for the first half of the day. But you need to know it's going to turn awfully bright here from midday on tomorrow. And that sunshine is likely going to be with us all the way through Tuesday. It looks like by next Wednesday may have the chance for a few more thunder showers. Notice a big, big league heat wave headed our way again by the latter part of the holiday weekend. Temperatures tomorrow in the 70s. There were 90 to 90 for Sunday through Wednesday.